Metropolis Arc 5 is the final chapter in the Metropolis Arc series, the series of orchestral collections designed specifically for loud and bombastic music, and in particular for scoring trailers. The series started out back in 2015 with the original Metropolis Arc 1 and has been widely acclaimed ever since. This new behemoth features a huge box of tools, tricks, and time savers with a wide range of instrumental sections and playing techniques tailored for very specific tasks and applications. And yes, it's also loud and powerful, just like the rest of the series. For Metropolis Arc 5, we took a very different, overtly functional approach in terms of design and concept. So you'll see that this collection is structured differently, not so much in the regular way of grouping instruments and articulations, but instead structured to provide easy-to-use solutions for specific musical applications, such as moving chords. Accents. Tensions. Grand melody statements. Or rhythmical movements. So we set out with this collection to provide proper instrumental solutions for those tasks. We assembled specific instrumental ensembles and orchestrated them carefully so they can be played basically over the whole keyboard without the voices blurring together and muddying the sound. To properly show you how Metropolis Arc 5 is intended to be used, we won't take the usual route of simply going step by step through the instrument sections. Instead, we want to show what musical tasks this collection is designed for and which tools we've put at your disposal. Let's start with the topic of chords, pads, or simply harmony. Getting good sounding harmonies and chord accompaniments done fast is a huge time saver in music production, especially when it comes to cinematic or trailer music. Metropolis Arc 5 provides the right tools here, which give you great sounding results right out of the box. Well, let's say we want to establish a mood with some lush sounding string chords. Now before we go any further with the functions and applications of Metropolis Arc 5, let me give you a quick tour of the instrument and vocal sections we've recorded for this collection. For strings, we recorded a string quartet just for rhythmic and movement content. Then we went one bigger and recorded the string orchestra, 
which also focuses on those rhythms, short notes, and effects. It features 12 violins, 8 violas, 6 celli, and 4 basses split into high and low sections. Then, even bigger, we have the large string orchestra. It has 20 violins and 10 violas in the high section. The low section contains 12 celli, 12 double basses, and for some additional warm low color, two bass clarinets and a contrabassoon. For woodwinds, we also recorded a split of high and low sections. The high section contains two piccolo flutes, two concert flutes, and two B-flat clarinets, which switch to E-flat clarinets in the high register. The low section has bass clarinets, contrabass clarinets, bassoons, and contrabassoons, three of each. This is definitely one of the largest woodwind ensembles ever sampled. For brass, we opted for a more complex approach. Basically, there are two sections, a low brass section containing eight horns, four trombones, tuba, and cymbasso. And then there's also a mellow low brass ensemble. Here, we asked some of the players to switch to their softer counterpart instrument, so we ended up with four horns, four Wagner tubas, four euphoniums, and two tubas. This ensemble delivers a really nice mellow version of the low brass. Then, reaching up into the higher register, we have a four-piece trumpet and flugelhorn ensemble. We also recorded female and male choirs with 12 singers each. We also added a genuine first to Metropolis Arc V, something we'd been wanting to do for a long time. To incorporate some hybrid color, we brought a selection of analog synths and modular systems to the Teldex scoring stage. We re-amped these through a set of speakers to be picked up by the exact same multi-microphone setup that we used for the orchestra. There are also four different instrument blends to address certain applications and sound colors. We have a solo flute playing with 12 violins, a solo trumpet with 20 violins and a section of 8 horns and 12 celli playing in unison. Those three blends provide the main part of the melodic capabilities of Metropolis Arc V. They have powerful legato patches, which we'll hear in a bit. The fourth blend is a mixed middle register section consisting of two bassoons, two clarinets, two horns, and eight violas. And in a perfect segue, this middle voice blend is a good example to continue our tour through the functions of this collection. Here, we also have those beautiful pad articulations. but we also have a set of actual recorded chords here. Those are nicely orchestrated and have an inner movement to them that can be synced to the tempo of your DAW. We have a major, minor, and open fifth chords here, including inversions. This means you can combine them to have proper voice leading instead of just having those stacked and jumping chord progressions you'd get with basic chord voicing. Here's how that sounds. We also have those tempo-synced wavering chords for the large high strings and the high woodwinds.
Now let's move on to the next functional focus of Metropolis Arc 5, rhythm and movement. Here, one of our main tools is the Shorts Master Patch for the string orchestra, string quartet, and also the synth. This one is basically what you would usually call a spiccato, staccatissimo, or maybe also ostinato shorts patch, but extended to eight real dynamic layers, which go from the quietest possible to the loudest possible. With multiple playing techniques available, this instrument is the ultimate quick tool to perform or program your string shorts passages. You heard the enormous dynamic and expressive range here. Also, the top two layers are played with increasing bow attack and length to create big accents wherever you need them. Let's also listen to the string quartet here. This is fine, but let's say you need some short and fast legato gestures within that short passage. That's where the runs patches come into play. Here, we recorded and programmed them differently to the way we normally work because they're specifically not designed to be connected to sustained notes and don't work within orchestral tools' adaptive legato technology. This is something different, which creates a very different effect musically. They work tremendously well on short runs and legato figures within short note passages, and the intervals between the notes were recorded up to the major fifth. You get one of these patches for most of the sections in Metropolis Arc 5, including many that don't have the Rhythm Master patch, which is really only a strings thing. But I mentioned the synth version, didn't I? Let's listen to that one. Okay, so now let's move on to the next function, accents. Here we have a variety of long and short stabs, rips, and crescendos. Especially the rips can be nice little spices to put in before certain transitions or to put some spice in your track. There's not very much else to say here, so let's simply take a listen to what you get.
often than not, when you're writing for a trailer, before the big downbeat accent hits, you might need some tension. And that's the next big functional focus of Metropolis Arc 5. The tension section is all about glissando effects and absolutely unique shepherd tone risers. Let's start with the glissando effects. They're available for our large string orchestra and the choirs. You could obviously also put some brass and or woodwind crescendos in there to make it even more tense. But now for the ultimate haunting or nerve-wracking tension risers, listen to this. For choirs, large string orchestra, low brass, and synth, we created and recorded a playable shepherd tone articulation. Shepherd tones originate from electroacoustic science. Basically, they create the impression of a permanently rising tone going up and up and up without stopping. This illusion is created by very cleverly blending out the highest note while fading in a rising low pitch in at the same time. We had the orchestra and singers perform those very long glissando risers. We present them here in this collection with proper looping, two dynamic layers, and with a wide tonal range. They're great fun to use and very effective. Try combining different notes in instrument sections. Play around with intervals or chords, or start with one note and add more and more as you go along. Those risers can work subtly in the background for a haunting effect, or deliver the most nerve-wracking tensions that will have your listeners begging for release with a downbeat accent.
Okay, after all that tension, how about we look at some beautiful melodic tones for a change of scene? Metropolis Arc 5 has you covered here as well. First of all, we have a couple of very powerful legato patches with the three blends mentioned earlier. The combination of horns and cellis always make for a very heroic and expressive melodic statement. We also have advanced legato features in this patch. When you play with low or medium velocity values, you get the standard slurred legato transitions. But if you hit the keys hard for the high velocity values, a re-tongued, or in case of the celli, a re-bowed transition kicks in instead of the slur. This can be an important feature to shape your melodic phrasing. The same features apply for the trumpet and violins blend, which works especially well for adding some soaring lyrical sparkle. If you want some softer lyrical sparkle, opt for the solo flute and violins blend. sparkle, opt for the solo flute and violins blend. Now let's move on to the choirs. Here we also have a special legato patch for you. You probably heard something interesting in that short track. You can hear that the choirs don't perform on a single vowel like they usually would. They're actually singing some kind of pseudo lyrics. This is intentional. It should save you a lot of time programming the choirs. We recorded different syllables on different pitches and created proper legato syllables to transition between them. This means you can simply play or program your lines and let the choir take care of what they actually sing. We also have legato patches for many of the other sections. Some are timberly more suited to pads and chords, while others provide powerful bass lines. Let's listen to the remaining legato patches.
third part of the melodic department of Metropolis Arc 5 is about fanfares. We recorded staccato and marcato articulations to easily create fanfare-like phrases. You get those fanfare-focused short articulations for a variety of instrument sections. Of course, you can also use them for rhythmic patterns. If you do that, make sure to borrow the runs articulations there and incorporate them into your fanfare melodies. Together, they sound like this. Coming to a close now, those articulations are a good opportunity to take a look at the available microphone positions of Metropolis Arc 5 and the mixer of the sign player. As with all the other Metropolis Arc collections, we provide our standard set of room microphones, the decatree, AB, and surround configurations. Additionally, we also incorporated a set of wide outriggers here. You also get a spot mix of all the close microphones for a certain section. Let me play a demo and move the faders around a bit so you can hear the individual microphones and some mix settings. And remember, in the sign player, you can always print your custom microphone mix into a single stereo mix configuration by using the mic merge feature. And that concludes our walkthrough of Metropolis Arc 5, the final chapter of the Metropolis Arc series and the end of an era. If you're writing trailer music, a stirring theme for a video game, a powerful movie score, or any other music that needs to go louder, harder, or just more bombastic, you can't go wrong with the Metropolis Arc series. Thanks for watching.